Well, maybe if you just listen. Stop. I'm not in the mood for this right now. I'm serious. Stop. What's the matter with you? Where do you think I'm going? To find a place to sleep. You should really get a new best friend. <laughs> How much of that did you hear? So, all of it? Sorry. It didn't wake you up, did it? Oh, good. Do you mind if I sleep here? Thanks. nothing. He's just been... He's been awful lately. He's been like this the whole camping trip. Actually, even before the trip. You've noticed it too, right? His temper. You guys are like best friends. Yeah. Anyway... I don't want to talk about him right now. <laughs> Let's talk about... Um... I don't know, what did we used to talk about? He isn't the only thing we have in common. What did we used to talk about before I started dating your best friend? I'm not sure either. You and I used to hang out a lot, though. I miss when it was just the two of us that went camping. That was so much more fun. This, inviting an entire friend group, it's not the same. Yeah, actually, could you go out there and send them all home? That would be great. <laughs> You know I love our friends. I just wish things were simpler like they used to be. I know what we used to talk about. I remember when we used to try to scare each other with ghost stories by the campfire. And we'd just be making up each story as we went along. They never made any sense. It's like one moment it would be about a creepy doll in the woods, and then suddenly there's a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> we were quite the storytellers, you and me. We don't do that anymore. I don't know. I guess it's just different when... when we're with a group. And you know what the worst part is? Now we actually run out of marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should keep an extra stash of them. Hide them somewhere. In a tree trunk or something. <laughs> I feel like I've hardly seen you the past couple days. Yeah. That and... I guess I've just been spending so much time in my tent. It's good to be out of there for once. I've been feeling so suffocated. You know why. It's not the tent itself, it's the person inside the tent. I think I'm gonna break up with him. Sorry, I know this is probably weird for you. I know you guys are good friends. Hell, you encouraged us to get together in the first place. So, 
Now for me to talk about him with you, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put you in an awkward position. You don't have to say anything. Hmm? Oh, I just said you don't have to say anything. Before that, um, that I don't mean to put you in an awkward position. Oh. Oh, I think I said, well, how you encouraged us to get together in the first place. Yeah, you did. You don't remember, really? This was like two months ago. I remember it really well. Because you asked me to the movies, but you were all weird about it. It's the weirdest I've ever seen you. Okay, so you do remember that then. Good. And then we got to the theater, and your friend just so happened to be there. And he sat right in between us and talked my ear off the entire time while you just sat there, not saying a word. Could it have been any more obvious? Come on, I'm not stupid. It was a setup. You were setting us up. You thought he and I would make a cute couple, so you conspired against me. The hilarious part is that up until then, I thought maybe you were asking me out on a real date. What? <laughs> anyway... I'm sorry it's not working out between me and him. I just hate for your matchmaking efforts to go to waste, that's all. It was a sweet thing for you to do. But, you know, for future reference, he's not really my type. No, not really. I'm kind of surprised you didn't know that. I agreed to go out with him because I thought you really wanted me to. You were doing a nice thing, trying to set me up. I figured I should give it a chance. What is that? You're getting weird and quiet. Like you did that night at the movies. Talk to me. What's going on? You didn't know that he was going to be there at the movies, did you? Him showing up and sitting between us. That was unplanned. So, it wasn't a setup. You really were asking me out on a date with you. Oh my gosh. Nothing, my head is just spinning right now. Maybe just give me a moment to process that. I wish that... If only I knew at the time. Well, if I'd known you liked me, I would have... I don't know. Maybe things could have turned out differently. I can't believe that was only two months ago. It feels like longer. <laughs> yeah, I guess the days have just kind of been dragging by lately. 
I'm so... My mind is racing. <laughs> Just coming up with a hundred different what-if scenarios. What if I'd known it was a date? What if he hadn't shown up at the movie theater? What if... What if it had been you? This is messed up. This. I shouldn't be. I, um... I'll be right back. Just give me a second. There's something I have to take care of. What I should have done two months ago. For the record, I really wanted it to be you. I'll be right back. <laughs> 